the three weekends are decidedly different in the exhibitors and the disciplines. This weekend is the draft horses, and I understand tomorrow is the richest purse in this country for draft horses. I can't tell you that for sure. It was, I think, and there could be one better, or I'm not, I can't say for sure, but it's $30,000, and the winner gets $5,000. We have 14, and all of them will make money. I think 14th place gets 600. And uh, yeah, it's, it's big time, it's five sections, you know, and probably a drive off and then we get them all in the ring to present the awards and it'll be full and it's great I mean we just have two classes tomorrow the ladies cart for 2500 and the showdown for 30 grand I mean it's that's why they're here it, it's fun but hopefully like I said everybody see this and go hey let's go to the Big E well it sounds like a good poker tournament when 14 places are getting paid I think we've had some poker tournaments <laughs> I shouldn't say but uh, yeah, I mean, you got to pay them. I mean, it's a lot of work, a lot of traveling, and, you know, they, they don't want to just go in with a ribbon, so. We do, we, the fair is very, very generous with prize money, and that helps. How do you envision growing this horse show at this venue in the future? Would it be through more sponsorship, through just, I mean, what would really be the hook? You have a lot of experience as a horse show manager. What would be the hook? to get more people here? Would prize money alone do it? Prize money usually doesn't do it. I mean, you can have Grand Prix and like we do in Saratoga for 25000 and you don't get a ton. They're, they're not moved by that. Now, if you made it increase the prize money a lot, you might get some. But it's usually not the money. It's, it's usually the show if they like it or if it's close by or whatever. Money doesn't usually do it. Now it does for the draft. I'll have to. I'll have to say that they we increased their premium sixty five hundred dollars this year, and they were very appreciative. They knew it. They recognized it. They said thank you. But they were here last year when we didn't add sixty five hundred more, and they liked that too. So money really is not the answer. I mean, if you had a fifty thousand dollar five gated stake, you'd probably have horses. But other than that, it's just if they want to show here, they come. And I'm enough do, so we're happy. Do you manage other multi-breed shows? I do, just one other, the Erie County Fair in outside of Buffalo. And we have uh, hunters and jumpers and quarter horses and three days of an open show coming up next year up there. And it's, um, it's a smaller scale. The hunter jumper show is not rated at all. The, the quarter horse show is rated, it's big, and, but it's a county fair. All new barns, you know, they all new everything because they have a casino. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, same thing, though. If people who don't like fairs don't want to come. Same problem everywhere you go. They just don't like all the, you know, you can't drive in, you got to park, there's traffic, you know. It scares some people. Well, they'll have to start tuning in and get unscared yes. because it's really a fantastic venue and, and obviously is nearing 100 years in its history. And I... What is it, a million people come through the gates? If not more, I don't have the exact number. I, I think the last couple of years it's been over a million. This year, it would probably be that, I haven't heard. But we had that one day with 170,000 people here. You know, and just that in itself probably convinced three stables not to come. I mean, it's busy, you know, but it's, we're having a blast, I think. I have no complaints, everything's wonderful. Well, and really, it's one of the best ways to grow the horse industry is we need spectators, we need new customers, we need new fans, yeah. you know, who are rooting for these stables. And, and what better place to show off what you've got than before a lot of people? Yes. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we got scoreboard and we got everything, you know, but yeah, they'll come. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, we're doing fine. It, it's good the way it is, but we do have some empty stalls, but we'll keep going. I saw your wife, Joanne, in a wagon last night yeah. in a class. I want to know how she scored that ride. Uh, well, she kind of rode in the parade with Morrisville at the Erie County Fair. And then she said what she really wanted to do was go through the tunnel, as she called it, which is right here, into this ring. So she did. And I think she's retired now. She did the one class that said that's enough. So it sounds like kind of an inside job. I, Yes, it was. <laughs> it was. But she had fun. She had fun, so not good for her. But I don't expect to buy any draft horses in the near future. Never know that. 
she might have different plans for you. Well, she could have a lot of different plans for me. <laughs> you might have one when you get home. Uh, yes, we might. We or, might. or already own one. Uh, it's possible. I'll have to see. <laughs> She's here somewhere. It's how it all starts. Jason, thank you so much for your time, and thank you for all you do to make this horse show a success for thank the exhibitors. Thanks for coming. It's been great. Thank you, John.